So what do you is it can I can I look at it now? Yeah. I can? You sure? Yeah. Alright. Did you miss your old dad this time? Yeah. How much? Was it bigger than that? Or was it Oh that big? <laughs> oh big as the house. Big as the house. Good lord. That's a lot of missing, isn't it, eh? To Dad. Hope you're well. Candace came to play with me today. And we went and bought, and bought some sweets. Love from Sophie. Well, that's absolutely lovely, darling. Next day, they're back at sea. First time I came out, I can remember very well. I was about three months larger than my brother. I was mate on the ship at the time. Can I go? Can I go? I think I was about 12 or 13. And I thought, God, am I going to make a sham of it? Am I going to show myself up? Will I be very ill? And I was four days sat behind the wheelhouse. And nobody took a blind bit of noise me. They kicked me. They pushed me. And they were saying, I told you so. And, and that's how it went on for four days. Well, I came close to dying, I know I did. But I was very, very, very ill. Sat behind the wheel, I said, the skipper's still alive in you, Linda. Wally Tarl was the skipper. I don't think he looked at me more than once or twice. You know? Just got to tighten up on the water. Right, are you ready? looking out there on the whale back up there, you know, the old gulls. You know, they say that an old skipper will come back as a gull. I don't know about those big black bats. They're big buggers, they are. <laughs> but those, they must have been, those old skippers must be wicked old bastards. <laughs> you have one sometimes come and sit on the rail with a leg gone. He's got one leg. And I just say, look, there's the old man up there. Because father only had one leg, you see. Oh, I just like to think that's like Fader come down and have a bit of look. I see what's going on, you know. <laughs> All fishermen got their funny little superstitions. We used to have one old skipper in Newland, uh, Clifford Kutsubas. And he ate it anything like pigs or rabbits or anything like that. And I remember like the old boy saying in there that he came down to go to sea after his time off and they were there like what we used to do is mend the nets, you know, repair them before we go off to sea like we do now and here. And a couple of old nuns came down the pier and peered over at him, you know, peered over the pier at him, you know, and he looked up and saw them, God, that was it. And he sent the crew home. He wouldn't go to sea. He wouldn't go to sea. And, that, and we thought that was just brilliant. We used to think then, Christ, I wish I was aboard there. Every day we'd have four or five nuns come down the pier. So we'd have a week off. <laughs> Celtic Moore, Celtic Moore, William Sapson, are you getting me over? William Sapson, Soda Moore. Yeah, you getting me now? Yes, I am, I am. Where are, where's your gear like over? Aye, aye, right underneath you. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you could just swing back to the north. Oh, you're going to catch me any second now. Roger's just started fishing when bad luck strikes again. Yeah, you've actually got a string here, so I'm just wondering how I can... Hang on a sec. I'm coming hard around. I'm going to go hard around, OK? But I haven't got a hole yet because of that tanker coming here. Look. Now, see that coming now. Bastard, isn't he? The trolls have caught another boat's gear. Yeah. It's not only expensive, but dangerous. Well, we might have your end, but we can pass this tanker I'll have her up, OK? Yeah, you must just... Roger must act quickly. I'll come hard around, OK? So we've got that tanker there now, exactly. But I'll see what I can do, all right? Aye, aye. We've caught a Dartmouth Crabber's crab pot, you see? And I've already to ride around into the path of the tanker. But whilst I was ironing around, that's been bringing the ship around to clear the crab pots, I brought myself in close proximity to a wreck. 
and I can't move anymore now because that tanker is going up past us. So I try to keep her up to clear the rag and keep my eye on the uh, tanker at the same time. You think he'd have held off a couple of three points? To, there's so much sea to the yeah. south of him. Yeah. Two points and he could have cleared. But no. Perhaps he wanted a bit of a view over. Hey, uh, they're a bloody pain they are, aren't they? Tom's we've nearly been out over the last bloody couple of years, you wouldn't believe. But we've just about made it in time before they've had us, or they would have had us. We've put it to the test a few times up there, you know, I'm off the start, just on the boat till the last minute just to see. And uh, nobody on the bridge. Well, right at this moment, I got things under control here. But in the dark, that's the time you've got to worry about it. You see, I've just come around here now, and I'm, I'm facing him, but normally we'd have been going the other way, and he'd have been coming up astern of us. But then you're in two minds which way to turn, either to port or starboard, because by doing that, you're giving him a bigger target to hit if he's going to hit you. But you can see how close he is now. He's a matter of a few hundred yards. And you can imagine looking at the bow there now. You see the bow, you can imagine the bow in the new. I'm just going to haul the gear now. We know we've caught the top end of his if his crab pots. Hopefully, we might just have one or two pots on our gear. And we could just like hand it over back to him, you see, so we wouldn't lose them. Wait the wire, Graham, or no? Drop a gear down on Azzy. Now I'll just back her in a bit a minute. All right, Graham. All right, Graham. Yeah, that's where he just turned it out at the end of the gear. You got this troll off here, Yeah. Right? Put the chains in. Is it much? It's an old troll, isn't it? Is right. it really? Yeah, is there anybody else about, or are you uh, just in the area on your own? Okay. Well, I think most of the other ships have gone in. Like David over, he's way to the southwest of us a wee bit. But I think the other ships are here earlier on. They're gone away into our boat. Cleared them. Well, that was a lucky. That, that was a lucky do there. Then we just we just nip nip the end of his pot. Just caught his down line. Hopefully. Hopefully, we've cleared them and not destroyed any of his crapples. Okay, let's be going. Well, we're all there. But that was a bit of a flipping mess there when that tanker was coming down on us, you know that, didn't you? I'll give you a little bit of song, cheer you up a little bit. Okay, Ross, you're all there a bit later now. Okie pokey. Oh, goodbye, old ship of mine. No more will cross the line For our days are through sailing over the blue Goodbye, old ship of mine OK, Robert. Now I'll speak to you again sometime, probably when the sun come up. All of us now, gone. Rigors of a legal nature bear down on the skipper next week at the same time. And to accompany this new series, a BBC book is now available. Laughter next on BBC One with 2.4 Children.